help facilitate the coming together of two of the most beautiful souls I know. I have had the pleasure of building relationships with Paul and Mari individually, as well as with the couple, Polly Lisa. <laughs> My first impressions of them was, of a couple was, wow, these two are always cracking each other up. And after five years of friendship with them, there is still not an encounter that we spend together where Mari does not throw her head back in laughter from Paul's quick wit, although she is often the butt of his jokes. <laughs> I wanted to start this ceremony by offering some vignettes of the evolution of their relationship. Picture this, December 7, 2007. Both Paul and Marty attended a holiday party hosted by a faculty member at SDSU's sociology department. It was their first interaction that was social and festive. Mari, no doubt looking smashing, <laughs> was making coquitos, spiced Puerto Rican eggnog. The inquisitive and affirming Paul showed immense interest in Marty's coquitos <laughs> and showed her with compliments and questions. Although Marty thought he was laying it on pretty thick, <laughs> she was nonetheless affected by his flattery, and as she admits, she became putty in his hands. <laughs> but more powerful than Paul's admiration was his sense of humor. He had her in hysterics that night. But as the hours passed, they began appreciating the vastness of enchanting qualities the other has. Mighty, who just loves herself some sleep, stayed up until the wee hours of the morning so that she could continue talking with Paul. At around 3 a.m., she began nodding off in the middle of their conversation. <laughs> so Paul gave her a ride home, they exchanged numbers, and as Paul says, the rest is history. <laughs> Although superficially, these two may only appear to be the most adorable couple ever. <laughs> Constantly laughing and beaming when looking into each other's eyes. In reality, their connection reflects the most profound human virtues I know of. Mighty is fully aware and appreciative of Paul's tenderness his ability to nurture and support growth, as well as his thoughtfulness and intentionality. Marty recognizes Paul as one of her teachers in compassion. She says, I've become a more compassionate person because of Paul. He is so generous. Paul has taught me to be forgiving and that just listening is an important part of being there for others. And Paul is in awe of Marty's ability to lift up the hearts of everyone she interacts with. He is grateful for her ability to love him exactly as he is, enabling him to feel safe, showing vulnerability. He appreciates how she stands for his greatness and challenges him to grow in his ability to communicate clearly and in developing patience. As you all know, individually, the bride and groom can hold their own in terms of living virtuously. They are beautiful, intelligent, and incredibly playful individuals. But as a couple, they reflect back to one another their highest self, keeping the other inspired during their process of becoming. Marriage is the ultimate commitment between two people and formalizing a lifelong union in the presence of all their beloveds seems like the next natural step in their story. Kismet may have brought them together, but it is their commitment to the labor of love that has created such a healthy dynamic between the two of them. Paul likes the analogy of caring for a garden. Marriage and gardening are practices of love that require constant tending to in order to foster life and vitality. Marty and Paul have been involved in this practice of love for some time now. They have a beautiful groove for the day to day. They love thinking about spending the rest of their lives together and starting a family. 
They already have experienced countless frustrations, moments of vulnerability, and joy. They have learned the unique needs of the other, as well as how to best respond to those needs. They have become fluent in, as they put it, listening to the other's heart. This is why they feel so deeply loved by each other and why they are each other's best friend. I know I'm not alone when I say that Paul and Marty serve as a relationship for an ideal romantic partnership. I told them that years ago during one of our Skype dates. <laughs> so on behalf of myself and probably everyone here, thank you both for modeling a partnership that is rooted in unconditional love, compassion, and utter joy. You each individually light up our lives and together make us go nearly blind. <laughs> At this time, Marty's brother Marco will share the first reading. Transforming Power by William Martin. Your love contains the power of a thousand suns. It unfolds as naturally and effortlessly as does a flower and graces the world with its bloom. Its beauty radiates a transforming energy that enlivens all who see it. Because of you, compassion and joy are added to the world. That is why the stars sing together, because of your love. And now Paul's brothers, Carl and Hank, will share our final reading. The Promises of Marriage by Betty Meeks. Marriage is a promise of companionship, of having someone to share all of life's experiences. Marriage does not promise that there will not be any rough times, just the assurance that there will always be someone who cares and will help you through to better times. Marriage does not promise eternal romance, just eternal love and commitment. Marriage cannot prevent disappointments, disillusionment, or grief, but it can offer hope, acceptance, and comfort. Marriage can't protect you from making individual choices or shelter you from the world, but it, will, but it will help to reassure you that there is someone by your side who truly cares. When the world hurts you and makes you feel vulnerable, marriage offers the promise that there will be someone waiting to listen, to console, to inspire. Marriage is the joining of two people who share the promise that only marriage can make, to, shel to share the sunshine and the shadows and to experience a richer, more, more fulfilling life because of it. Now the couple will exchange their vows. Paul, I take you as you are and offer myself in return. I love who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you with compassion and understanding, learn from you and respect our differences. I will cherish your encouragement and support, and in return, speak to you with encouragement and support. I promise to share in your dreams and believe in you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses as though they were my own. I will love you and have faith in your love for me through all our years and all that life may bring us. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and grow with you. As a family, we will create a home filled with learning, joy, and compassion. I promise to work with you to foster a relationship of equality, knowing that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Let us be partners, best friends, and lovers, today and all of the days that follow. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's adversities and all of its joys from this day forward. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. Today, I choose you to be my husband. Mari, I take you as you are and offer myself in return. I love who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise to listen to you with compassion and understanding, learn from you, and respect our differences. I will cherish your encouragement and support, and in return, speak to you with encouragement and support. I promise to share in, our, in your dreams and believe in you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses as though they were my own. I will love you 
and have faith in your love for me through all our years and all that life may bring us. I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and grow with you. As a family, we will create a home filled with learning, joy, and companion, content, compassion. I promise to work with you to foster a relationship of equality, knowing that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Let us be partners, best friends, and lovers today and all the days that follow. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's adversities and all of its joys from this day forward. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. And today, I choose you to be my wife. Paul and Marty, you're agreeing to share strength, responsibility, and to share love. Marty, do you promise to be a loving friend and partner in marriage? to talk and to listen, to trust and appreciate, to respect and cherish Paul's uniqueness? Do you promise to support, comfort, and strengthen him through life's joys and sorrows? Do you promise to share hopes and dreams as you build your lives together and to grow as a family? Do you promise to strive to build a home that is full of compassion, full of respect and honor, filled with peace, happiness, and love. Do you promise to always be open with Paul? Do you vow to love him for as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Paul, do you promise to be a loving friend and partner in marriage, to talk and to listen, to trust and appreciate, to respect and cherish Mighty's uniqueness? Do you promise to support comfort and strengthen her through life's joys and sorrows? Do you promise to share hopes and dreams as you build your lives together and to grow as a family? Do you promise to strive to build a home that is compassionate to all, full of respect and honor, filled with peace, happiness, and love? Do you promise to always be open and honest with Marty? Do you vow to love her for as long as you both shall live? I do. It is customary to exchange rings as a symbol of love. The circle is a natural symbol of eternity as it has no beginning and no end. Marilisa and Paul are making a declaration before all of you that from this day forth, they are united before the world in a promise that spans the years of their life. Michael, will you please step forward with the rings? Marty, please place the ring on Paul's left hand. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And devotion to you. And devotion to you. I pledge to you all that I am. I pledge to you all that I am. And all that I will ever be. And all that I will ever be. As your wife. As your wife. With this ring. With this ring. I happily marry you <laughs> and join my life to yours. this ring, I happily marry you, and enjoy my life to this. May these rings represent the endless circle of Mighty and Paul's union together. May they reside on the hands of the lover, the caregiver, the companion, and the guide. May they be beautiful reflections of their sacred vows to each other now and always. Closing, Marty and Paul, may your lives be blessed in every moment, in every way. May you continue to inspire each other and all of us. 
May your commitment to see and nurture the highest in each other be unwavering. May you rejoice in a life fully lived and given completely to love. And so it is. By virtue of the authority vested in me, as Deputy Commissioner of Civil Marriages in and for the County of San Diego, and also with my immense faith in the integrity and love of this relationship, I am delighted to pronounce you husband and wife. Dearest family and friends, it is my sincere privilege to present to you for the first time ever as a married couple, Mighty Lisa and her beloved husband, Paul. Paul, you may kiss your bride.
traveling. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Layla, and I am Marilisa's maid of honor. <laughs> I met Marilisa six years ago in our PhD program at UCSD, and things in my life have not been the same since the day that I met her. When Marivisa walks into a room, the entire room transforms. So what do I tell you, Marivisa, on your wedding day? How does one tell Radiance herself how she lights up my heart? How her smile is like a thousand songs? And how her friendship slash sisterhood is Priceless, or dare I say, a mini ball. <laughs> I recall countless nights of sitting with this beautiful couple that you see before you and having one of our deep, moving, transformative conversations about social change and social justice. And in a state of just complete, profound, what have you. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Having one of our deep moving transformative talks and feeling like in this moment, the world has stopped. It's frozen in time. <laughs> Through a collective wisdom that we come, we form together with this bond. While words are completely inadequate in expressing how precious the sisterhood that I feel with Marilisa is to me, I will say this. I am so honored, excited, and ecstatic to celebrate with you this union of blessed love. And I'm feeling overflowing joy in being able to meet and celebrate with your and Paul's family. And we'll be your sister from another mister. <laughs> your secret sister. Forever and hoping to witness many more blessed memories. Thank you for letting me participate in this day, and may you continue to, to radiate love for all of us who are here and love you. And I want to end with a poem that I emailed both of them that I think is very fitting, and that is this. The moment I heard my first love story, I started looking for you, not knowing how blind that was. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere. They are inside of each other all along. I love you. Cheers. Yes, 
hands. So Paul, you can grab your mom, Barbara.
we love you so much. It's a gorgeous ceremony. You two are the best couple. Oh, it was seriously like model ideal. I love you both. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for letting me in your apartment that day so many years ago. I'm glad we became friends. Double lucky. It's the old reverse luck. Both of them are extremely lucky people to have one another. Good luck, guys. God bless you guys, bro.